Hello viewers, so today I am back again with another video on SSO series of video that we are doing and today we will learn about SAML. So this is Jitendra from Software Circle. Now in today's agenda, we have SAML. So we will learn about what is SAML, how does SAML works, benefits with SAML, SAML request response parameters and SAML workflow. These are the five things that we will look at. So what is SAML? SAML stands for Security Assertion Markup Language, SAML. It is an open standard that enables SSO. By making a range of resources accessible with just one set of login credentials, you can provide seamless access to resources and eliminate insecure password prolification. SAML specifically enable identity federation, making it possible for identity providers to seamlessly and securely pass authenticated identities and their attributes to service providers. SAML holds the dominant position in terms of industry acceptance for federated identity deployments. Security Assessment Markup Language SAML is an XML based framework for authentication and authorization between two entities, a service provider and an identity provider. The service provider agrees to trust identity provider to authenticate users. How does SAML works? Enterprise SAML identi identify federation use cases generally resolving around sharing identity between an existing identity and access management system and web applications. So there are two actors in the SAML scenarios, the identity providers who asserts the identity of the users and the service provider who is consumes the assertion and passes the identity information to the application. The interaction between the IAM system and the federation server is called first mile integration, while the interaction between the federation server and the application is called the last mile integration. OAuth returns the encoded SAML response to the browser. The browser sends the SAML response to the application for verification. If the verification is successful, the user will be logged into application and granted access to all the various resources. So this is how the SAML works. Now, what are the benefits with SML? Why we should use SML? So, first of all, it uh, provides a standardization. SAML is a standard format that allows seamless interoperability between systems independent of implementations. It takes away the common problems associated with the vendor and platform specific architecture and implementations. It improves user experience as well. User can access multiple service provider by signing in just one and without adding uh, additional authentication, allowing for a faster and better experience at each service provider. This eliminates password issues such as reset and recovery. Increased security. Security is a key aspect of software development and when it comes to the enterprise application, it is extremely important. SAML provides a single point of authentication which happens at a secure identity provider. Then SAML transfers the identity to the service provider. This form of authentication ensures that credentials don't leave the firewall boundary. Then at the end, it also allows loose coupling of directories. SAML does not require user information to be maintained and synchronized between directories. Now SAML request response parameter will look to. So the request response parameters includes ID, which is the newly generated number of identification, issue instant uh, timestamp to indicate the time it was generated, assertion consumer service URL, the SAML URL interface of the service provider where the identity provider sends the authentication token, issuer with the, the entity ID, unique identifier of the service provider in response to the ID of the SAML request that this response belongs to and the recipient, the entity ID, unique identifier of the service provider. Now we'll once again go through the, the SAML workflow. The SAML IDP takes the user identity along with any other attributes that the two sites have agreed to communicate. It builds an XML based SAML assertion. Then it signs the assertion with the private key of the, or the public key pair that was exchanged between the IDPs, um, between the service provider and the identity provider when the SSO partnership was configured. It then either sends the assertion to the service provider via the user's browser or sends the reference to the assertion that the service provider can use to securely retrieve the assertion. Now we can see in this diagram from the user browser, this, it is requested, the, uh, how it is requested to the service provider and how the identity provider works. So first of all, user browser sends to the service provider and then service provider uh, returns the request response. After that, the user browser sends to the identity provider
and I have given the source. I have copied this uh, diagram from auth.com slash blog slash how SAML authentication works. Now this is another diagram uh, where we can understand uh, how it works and uh, user can if you want you can pause the video and look to the diagram again uh, properly. So first of all authentication process happen then user selects the service provider and then the generated generate and sign assertion happens after that redirect the user to service provider assertion happens then validate assertion happens then at the end redirect the user to the applications so thank you viewers for watching the channel and if you find the video informative and helpful please like and the video and subscribe to the channel thank you so much